my job is to meet someone, engage in some kind of human interaction, and then document that experience on film. I wanted to do two things. I wanted to show the human experience of what it's like to meet someone, up close and personal. We see all these heads of state and government on podiums making big, powerful speeches, but we never see them as human beings. The second thing was I wanted to get a sense of community. I wanted to show what the collective spirit is like. There are strained relationships. There are strong alliances. In some cases, there are even conflicts. Tony Blair sat for me. I also photographed Gordon Brown. The last picture to be photographed for the book was Nick Clegg. I remember I photographed Obama while he was running for president. It was during the election campaign. There's some important themes in the book. There's uh, the Middle East. Netanyahu and Abbas, for instance, are both represented. Putin is also in the book. To my knowledge, he's never had uh, a portrait taken of him outside the Kremlin. Although all these portraits are of political figures, my portrait project is not political. It's human. Every single person has brought something special and unique and, I hope, honest to the pictures. You put all the pictures together and I think it will give us a sense of what it was like to live in these times. This is the global personality of the power system. And as we leave the time that's recorded in the book, we stand back and we start to analyze it historically. What happened? Who was in control? That's what this book is about.